This is my team here in the tent. Hello. Yes, we all are here. Okay. Yes. It was super cold, and every step we climbed was uh, was an effort. So you know, when we get to the summit, what we did was just 10 meters before the summit, we whole team stopped together, and. Uh, yeah, we, we sing the national anthem of Nepal and we made it to the summit together. So I think that was a really historical moment. Some of the obviously team members were very emotional as well, including myself. To make this impossible possible together as a whole team was quite unique. All 13, 8,000 meter peak were climbed by, you know, of course, our, our foreign international, you know, climbing friends. Um, but just to bring the last one, the hardest and the, and the most challenging peak, you know, to Nepal and for the climbing community, I think it's, it's really humbling for everybody else. And I think everybody really respect that. Every other climbers around the world, you know, I think they are, they are very happy from, from their heart as well. So, which is, which is a great thing. Climbing in winter, you know, K2 is super steep. You know, either you have to go through, you know, blue ice or a rock. Um, so it's very technical. On top of that, if you add, you know, the, the temperature up to, you know, minus 65 degrees, you know, even minus 70, and you are climbing. And, of course, it's only, you know, in a high altitude. But I think what it kept everybody going, you know, was... Everybody wanted this to their bone. You know, everybody wanted to make the climbing community proud. Everybody wanted to make, you know, the, the Nepalese climbing community proud. So, yeah, I think it was that mutual support between each other, uh, you know, that, you know, kept us, you know, successful.